From the Washington Times, I'm Ramsey Touchberry. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley says former President Trump can't win a general election. She's instead putting herself forward as the best alternative who she says voters will start to pay attention to after Labor Day. Haley told CNBC's Squawk Box, quote, you look at these indictments, there's probably going to be a fourth indictment. We can't have, as Republicans, him as the nominee. He can't win a general election. That's the problem. We've got to go and have someone who can actually win. At the same time, Haley says she would support Trump if he got the GOP nomination. She served as UN ambassador under Trump, and she says she can't stomach the thought of a president, Kamala Harris. Haley predicted she'll rise to the top of a crowded GOP field. She boasted that she turned South Carolina into an economic powerhouse and negotiated with over 100 countries at the UN. At the heart of the Justice Department's twin cases against former President Trump are two statutes rarely used. One was invoked by federal prosecutors only about a dozen times in the past 20 years. Federal prosecutors investigating the 2021 U.S. Capitol riot and efforts to overturn the 2020 election have told the presidential candidate he could be charged with violating a federal law enacted to crack down on post-Civil War voting intimidation. Special Counsel Jack Smith also invoked an arcane law known as the Espionage Act in a case accusing the former president of illegally handling classified documents after leaving office. The law dates back to World War I and has been traditionally used against spies. Head of the Conservative Committee for Justice, Kurt Levy, says, quote, the Justice Department made up their mind that they were going to charge Trump for something and searched high and low for a statute that, even if rarely used and very old, can be cobbled together for a theory that Trump violated it. For these stories and all the news, visit us at WashingtonTimes.com.